Hi everybody, um, it's Gianna here, you know, been away for a little bit, but I'm going to turn this so that way it's going the right direction. Um, I've been aching, I've been waiting, and I can do it now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open the box that I got from Doug, um, his vintage boutique. Um, I had won a jewelry jar from him, and I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and get with it, so that way we all know what's in there. It's been a long-awaited um, thing. It's right here. <laughs> Can't put it up underneath the camera. Um, it's a, it was a virgin jewelry jar. I had won it, um, during the time that, um, he and Vanessa were on the steals and deals. So I'm, I'm quite excited. The package has been sitting here for several weeks now. And, you know, uh, a lot of us have a hard time just, just waiting and I have to tell you my little granddaughter Dot she could not wait she remind me that it was here every day so I'm going to go ahead and open the the package very beautiful package packaged very well Doug you do a beautiful job at um, packaging your your jewelry jars since I can't sleep very much at night, I think it's a good thing that I just go ahead and do this and get it uploaded and we'll see what's in this virgin jar. I think he used the whole roll of bubble wrap. Which I would have done the same thing. I read the card, Doug, and I completely understand. So, we're going to find out now what is in this jar. It's a very gorgeous jar. Here's the jar. Bring this up. So, oh, I see my husband's. First side there. Oh boy. Quite a bit of. Maybe there could be some silver in there. We'll just turn it around. This is a close up of it. Got some nice silver colored beads in there. Now I take the top off. And he's very correct. It's a gamble when it comes to jewelry jars. Those of us who love these jars know. Tape on top, some of it is. Oh, all right. First, we have the star. Very nice star. like it might have been there's a little bit of gold reflection in there so a little bit of gold over silver here um, it's got a nice lobster claw clasp I'm not going to say whether it's for me or not so it's a very beautiful little piece 
Nice little necklace. About an 18 inch chain. Looks like. Has a very nice um, extension on there. I'd say about 2 inch extender. Oops, let's put that over there. Well, this looks like it is also gold tone necklace nice little clasp very pretty See, maybe I ought to make sure it's straightened out there we go now it'll play better. I don't see any marks. No marks. Cute little bracelet, silver tone bracelet. It looks like it's stuck. <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> okay. Looks like I'll have to figure this one out. It's a nice little bracelet, though. Yeah, it's. Looks like it slipped into one of the the rings there so it's very pretty pretty little bracelet no marks on that one Ooh, this, this is an anklet and there is a mark. Nice little heart there. Very beautiful little anklet. And it slips right in there like that. Let's see where it says MC SPL. Um, these are the type of anklets that the uh, belly dancers wear. You can hear the the jingle as it goes. Might want to test that one. I'll put that in a pile to the side. Some of those are sterling. And another little bracelet. That says middle sis. I've seen a lot of these come my way lately. Something that says middle sister. I grew up um, with myself and of course you all know my sister Edna. But I have an older sister named Sophia. Um, she's from my father's previous marriage but she's an older sister and... I've always been known as the middle sister, and I'm just wondering if that's a sign. So I'll put that over there. And I've got... I've got this... Whoa, looks like we've got a couple of other things there. What's going on, son? Okay. Oh boy. See if I can find the end here and lightly pull that out of there. Woo! Yep. Okay. Alright, we got this beautiful silver tone necklace here that has keys. 
the key is broken off there and it can be taken off and fix. Nice little heart. Looks like a little repair for this one. But it won't take much. You got the little um, cherub. A couple of hearts. It's like a little tassel down at the bottom. And here's the, the other piece that was in there. You may have to take an orange stick to this one. Very elegant and dainty. There's some writing on that one. Wait, my loop. So we can see what it might say. We end up doing two parts to this video. Keep moving my my felt. It says PPC Sterling. The first Sterling piece. Sign of Bird of Peace. So I'll put that over to the side for testing. Very beautiful, elegant, and dainty piece. It goes in the test pile. Oh! Raymond Misenheimer, 9-11-01, has the American flag on it, I don't know, oh, it might be a memorial piece, I don't know, <laughs> Some bracelet, and another bracelet, Looks like it has like a faux pearl on there and a little bit of bling going on. Very cute little piece. Let's see if I can find some marks in there. That could be. I don't know if that's marks or not. Hmm. I don't know. What do you all think of that? Does that look like it could be some marks? So let me get this to focus. Oops. There we go. That right there. I really can't tell. Could be hinges. I don't know. Another beautiful little piece. Ooh. Pair of earrings right off the top. some pretty earrings. Another earring. These are cute. These are just right off the top. These are look like they might have been handmade, but they're very cute. earrings there. Mm. These earrings. And then these earrings. And it looks like we got this earring here. No. Mm. 
And it kind of feels, and it almost looks like it could be a dyed bone. Bones over there. Got a little bracelet here. Claire's. What does it say? Forever Sisters. The Infinity Knot. Alrighty, another bracelet. These are those open cuff bracelets, it looks like. Some silver tone, maybe? Nope. Actually, it looks like it might have been rose gold at one point. back up. Okay. Pendant that you hang your charms on. You know, I usually have Lily with me when I do these videos, but she's still trying to put her little ones down. Got an earring. And a nice tangle of necklaces here. Well, while we're at it, I found the mate to this one. We all know that when we get get jars, we expect a nice tangle sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to find the end to this one and bring it out. <laughs> I can hear my granddaughters are up there giggling. I remember when my children were little, they um, they would lay and play for hours in the bed before they went to sleep. Okay, got one chain out of there. It's a gold tone chain. Okay. There we go. A gold tone, silver tone with a nice lobster claw. I don't know what made me say gold tone. A nice silver tone chain. Maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. <laughs> virtue, virtue, remember virtue, maybe patience is a virtue. Alrighty. 
And we've got this. This was on this. This is marked with a J and a crown. Anybody might know that one. Maybe. Almost looks like the Premier Design crown in a way, but it's kind of a little, a little big. Totally secure. Couture. Okay. It's a heart. Lock, lock it, maybe. I don't know. I've got more to untangle here. I'll leave that there and untangle it later. And then, like I said, I may end up doing two part two on this toggle clasp bracelet. No marks. Could be handmade. It looks like it might be. Very pretty. Looks like it might have been worn and loved. Another earring. So far, we've got one, one um, sterling piece out of there, maybe. This is a pretty earring. What does that say on there? Mm. It says sterling. It says sterling right there. Two chains here, and it shouldn't have gotten tangled. I don't think it should have. Do look like they may be sterling chains. Okay. Yes. I get quiet when I untangle my chains, I'm sorry. But um I think a lot of us do. bigger chain off the little chain. Okay, pull, 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 pull. Don't pull too hard. <laughs> I don't know if any of you talk yourselves through these. But this is fun. Okay. Flip it around here. Might have to just go like that. There we go. We got it. Okay, this one's not marked, but it is a very beautiful chain. I will be testing these chains as well. See if any, see if they do come up sterling. Um, we all know sometimes when we've dealt with jewelry we know what our chains are and this here 
We've got a Tree of Life pendant. And what does it say? Very beautiful. So it says, My family, my love. Let's see if we can get that down there so you can see. My family, my love. Back. And the back has X's and O's going all the way around. And we've got a little bit of something going on here. 925 Italy chain. So that will go in the test pile. My family, my love. You got my boy on there? And we've got the Mario mushroom. I know people collect these. I don't know, maybe my boy can tell me the name of this is Mushroom. He's standing right here. What's the name of the Mario Mushroom, son? This little guy. The Mario Mushroom. Power-up Mushroom. Oh, he's a power-up Mushroom. Let's see. Power up mushroom from the Mario game. Got another beautiful little chain here that looks like it could be, it looks gunmetal. So I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up for now. Like I said, I'm going to do it in portions and pieces. And stay tuned for another upload, and I'll be back.